Last week, I was boiling some milk and then this happened. So, after getting that burn, I wondered, why did this hurt so much more than when I've accidentally splashed myself with boiling water? This simple question led me to do what everyone else does after getting burned. No, not this. I opened my computer and dove into the internet to find the exact reason behind it. And I found steam burns more severely because it carries hidden energy called latent heat, which means it can transfer over 5 times more energy than boiling water. I'll show you how exactly this works later on, but before that, let's get the basics. When most of us think about steam, we picture a harmless cloud of water vapor. But steam is a force of nature that we have harnessed for everything, from cooking to powering massive engines. What makes steam so special? It all comes down to energy. A lot of energy. But we are not just talking about the gentle mist rising from your morning coffee. We are talking industrial steam. A force so powerful it can move these massive turbines that generate electricity. You might think that boiling water at 100 degrees Celsius and steam at 100 degrees Celsius would be equally dangerous. After all, they are at the same exact temperature, right? But in reality, steam can cause much more severe burns. This is not speculation. It's crucial knowledge that engineers and industrial workers who work with steam take very seriously. You have probably seen steam's power in your daily life without realizing it. Think about how quickly your clothes do wrinkle when you press that steam button on your iron. Or how effortlessly a steam cleaner blasts away stop burn dirt. These everyday examples hint at steam's impressive energy. At the molecular level, steam behaves quite differently from liquid water. When water turns into steam, its molecules spread out taking up about 1600 times more space than they did as a liquid. This expansion is key to understanding steam's power, but we'll explore this later. So why is steam more dangerous than boiling water? It all comes down to energy transfer. When steam hits your skin and condenses, it dumps a huge amount of energy into a small area very quickly. This energy is not just from high temperature. There's an extra hidden source of energy at play here. Who's that Pokemon? This hidden energy is called latent heat. It's stored in the steam, separate from its temperature. Think of latent heat like a stealth bomber carrying an invisible payload. When steam condenses, it releases this stored energy in an instant, delivering a much more powerful punch than boiling water ever could. Here's how it works. As you hit water, its temperature rises steadily, until it hits 100 degrees Celsius. But then something strange happens. The temperature stops climbing even though you are still adding heat. So where is all that energy going? It is being stored in the water molecules themselves, giving them the boost they need to become steam. Think of it like an elevator in a tall building. Heating water is like climbing the stairs. You can feel yourself getting higher with each step. But when you reach the boiling point, you are at the top of the stairs. To go further, you need to take the elevator. This elevator ride, the fate change from water to steam requires an enormous amount of energy. How much? Well, it takes about 4200 joules to heat a kilogram of water by 1 degree Celsius. But to turn that same water into steam, that needs a whooping 2,260,000 joules. This hidden energy is what makes steam so dangerous. When it touches your skin, all that stored energy is released at once. It's like our elevator suddenly dropping from the top floor. All that potential energy becomes very real very fast. To put it in perspective, steam can deliver more than 5 times the energy of boiling water to your skin. This extra energy penetrates deeper into your tissues, causing more severe burns. Now that we have uncovered this hidden energy of faith changes, let's see it in action. So what do you think I will do after getting burned once? That is correct. I am going to burn my hand again, but this time I will do it twice. So first we boil some water in a pot. Make sure it is on a rolling boil and then dip a metal spoon there. 
and let it cook for some time. After some time, I'll take it out and carefully touch it. Okay, then we take it out. And then, don't try this at home kids, I am stupid. We... Oh yeah, bitch. Oh yes, that definitely hurts. <laughs> now we take this and we dunk it in some water. Now for the steam. Here comes the steam boys! We cook the spoon in direct path of the steam for a few minutes. Now comes the exciting part. I get to touch the metal spoon. And definitely the spoon is way hotter now than it was ever before. Remember the latent heat we talked about earlier? As the steam hits cooler surface, it rapidly condenses. This phase change releases an enormous amount of energy almost instantaneously, causing a much more intense and concentrated heat transfer. When we compare steam burn with water burn, the area exposed to boiling water shows first degree burn, like bad sunburn. It is painful but generally superficial. The steam exposed area, however, displays the characteristics of a second degree burn, with damage appearing to go deeper potentially affecting the lower layers of skin. This experiment clearly shows why steam burns are much more dangerous. The hidden energy of steam released upon contact can cause much more severe damage in less time. It is a vivid reminder to be extra cautious around steam, whether it's from a kettle, a dishwasher, or industrial equipment. So, now you know why that milk burn hurts so much more than I expected. Have you ever had a steam burn? How did that feel? Let me know in the comments below. From powering massive engines to sterilizing medical equipment, steam has played a crucial role in technological advancement. Understanding and respecting steam's properties is key to safety. Click here to watch more of my videos. Thank you for watching.